Uh, here are my front speakers. Uh, I think I went with JBLs. Those are, I don't know how many watts. Uh, no, it's, it's a typical kind of good name brand. 420 watts, peak. These are stage 90, stage two, 96, 34s. Now these are, oh, these are Harman. Now these are for the back, the uh, six by nines. These are, I don't know, I think they're six by nines. Well, they're variable size, yeah, they're. Nine and five sixteenths, but essentially six by nines, which is what you'll need in the back, which is two of those. You can get a third if you want, or you get some, I don't know, maybe like a sub or a six by nine base. Now these are five by seven and six by eight, and I know these work for the fronts. So the fronts were the stage two, 9634. They still make these. I think these are wrapping up the GT70s, GT76s. So the first ones I got from Amazon were, were refurbs. I don't know where Jay, where they make their stuff, but whatever. Typically you need four screws or whatever. You put the four screws to here, each corner, same thing. Um, I don't know what these came with. These are real J JBLs, they're not the fake sometimes. Last one I got was broken here, and, or no, they were just, Pretty rusty. Come with some rubber stuff, and that's about it. Um, thought they're supposed to come with a little bit more, but uh, I'll take it. So no big loss. I thought they were. Yeah, these ones actually don't look. The first ones I got were corroded, but uh, <clears throat> so you need some. You need. Uh, That's what you need though. You need the six by nines and then the five by sevens. So I'll show you here. Actually, you can see they're gonna fit. I might have to cut these tabs off. They're actually breakable. Um, we have to break those tabs off, but you can see it's gonna fit now. There's only one in the front. Um, I might try to mount the second one like somewhere under here. Um, so that will fit. Um, these will probably hang over the edge. I just don't know if these, see these might can, I might, I'll just cut those off just to be safe. Um, and it does have this plastic ring up top that comes on and off if you need it. I'll probably be using it. I think it'll clear. So, uh, should be good. And then, uh, the, obviously these are hitting on the top, but, uh, and then there's the grill. I need to paint that because I don't like this. It's a little too Fisher Chrysler, pricey for me for the, uh, but, uh, and this is cardstock. I'll be using, or not cardstock. It's a it's like a laminate, hard laminate that I got from. Uh, I think this was Lowe's. Lowe's has a pretty good um, door panel. It's probably the thickness of cardboard, but it's going to be good for making door panels. I've got those pretty much cut off and ready to go the patterns, so I'm still holding air in my tires, which is good. It's been pretty cold. I haven't been out here much at all. So I need to uh, really get on this thing, get this headliner, and there's a seat. I'm gonna put the top seat in real quick. Now, I wouldn't say I have a problem. Um, seats are actually gonna be fitting. They fit pretty good. They almost fit. Um, they fit really good, actually, on the side, side to side. This is a little short but shouldn't be a huge problem. I am gonna have to angle the back seat. Like I can almost, like this has, a, this will have to squish under a bit. Um, the angles of these seats are probably something like that. They're certainly not flat. You know, you just slide right off them. Um, and this letter, they got, they got a little stretch, but it's gonna be a bit of a, <laughs> um, your rear view mirror is gonna be even worse than the factory. Um, they do fit. They do stick up a bit off the back. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, and uh, this hump, I have to get over this hump. 
I may have to cut some of that out. That doubtful. And I'm going to have to build a base here. And it almost doesn't look like this might still have to go up a few more inches, which is much higher than the factory backing one. I don't want to, I don't want to have to try to whack all that off of there. Um, you're definitely going to be riding in comfort in the back of this car, unlike the original factory stuff. But uh, I believe these are heated also. So I don't know if I could turn, I'm not probably not going to do the heating, but if it's just plug it in, there's a computer that comes in the console, call comes one unit. Um, so it, uh, and I have seat belts. I could put the seat belts in it also. I won't have the shoulder rest seat belts, but I could have um, the lap belts. But uh, it needs to be straightened out. I need to be snugged up there. And, uh, but anyways, that's, these are, I'll verify the years, but I think these are 2004 to 2005 Cadillac Seville seats. I literally got the whole set for $100. So, uh, with, and the leathers, it was like some little old lady from Pasadena must have blown up her engine or something. Car wasn't rusted at all. I was amazed. Like, even the leather's really good shape, and I could leave them, but obviously the color really doesn't match. I'm trying to get the stupid headliner, and it's too cold to even deal. I want to try to heat the whole garage up to, it needs to be really warm. I need to get some new, I need to get some gas. Um, it's just been too cold here lately, but I'm, when this sits down under here and this angle's right, I'm going to have to build some kind of support structure to hold this. And I was thinking about cutting out cutting out the body. I could cut the, If I could plasma out a floor pan from the other car, that would help a bit, but it's not a big deal. I think it can still, since it fits fairly well, um, like I might even be able to use these and mount these guys into here, these release clips, snap them into here and figure out this angle really figure out what's really comfortable on this angle and how that seat i might want to go back out there and i might want to go look at another car and figure out the floor angle that it's sitting on honestly um, because you want to get that factory you don't want to have obviously like i said with this leather it'll be vinyl um, it'll be vinyl with a pattern in the middle but uh, in the end but for now, I don't want to be slipping off the sucker. Um, the people, somebody sits in the back. But uh, so, and the front's also a bench seat too. But anyways, that's that's my zero progress for the last couple of weeks because it's been too cold and I've been too busy with work. So uh, I got to get this headliner in though. I'm going to continue with the dash though. I'm going to rip the dash back out of it. I'm going to actually go show you. I'm actually switching the alt, um, the uh what the gauge over to voltmeter but i'm just doing it i'm using a new gauge behind the old face so you won't know it's just it goes the reverse direction it starts from high and goes down to low so we'll see how that goes um it'll move and it'll get to 12 volts when it gets to 12 volts but uh, otherwise it's just been too much work lately 